This is the schematic of the RXSR. Taking a close look at the connector starting from the bottom, the pins are ground plus 5 volt. In the middle is the S board pin for the telemetry data. The fourth pin is S bus for the RXSR to the flight controller connection. The top pin is for the redundancy function of the RSSR. The slave RX S bus out is connected to this S bus in pin. This is just in case uh, you want to use the redundancy function of the RXSR. The signal coming from the RXSR is an inverted signal. In case we need the uninverted S bus and S port signal, we cannot use the connector pins. We'll talk about that later, what you can do if the inverted signal does not work for you. After connecting the RXSR with the flight controller according to the schematic, we connect the flight controller to the PC. We start the flight controller configuration software, in this case uh, Betaflight. We open the ports tab. Here we configure the UARTs for the steering of the craft via the SPAS protocol and the S port for the telemetry data. I have connected SPAS out to the RX to UART1, therefore I activated the serial RX switch, which is already pre-selected because that's the default setting. Everything else in this row stays disabled. I have connected the s -Prod pin of the RXSR to URT6. Choose s -Prod from the drop-down menu. Do not use Fruska here, that's a different protocol. Then click Save and Reboot button to make the changes permanent. We now switch to the Configuration tab to check the RX settings. In the Receiver section, we make sure that the serial-based receiver is chosen from the drop-down menu and the s -Bus protocol is chosen. We make sure that in the other feature section the telemetry switch is activated, otherwise the TX will not receive the telemetry data from the flight controller. Press save and reboot to make the changes permanent. To verify that everything is working, we change to the receiver tab and move the levers on the remote control. The bars in this tab should move accordingly. Of course, the TX and the RX have to be bound and the TX has to be configured for this to work. We can switch the channel map here. We can also check on the TX if the telemetry data is sent. If everything works fine, we are good. If nothing happens, it could mean that the remote control is not configured. So option one is to check if the remote control is properly configured and bound to the RX. The second option would be to try to uninvert or invert the signal via the software. So we go to the CLI and type get inf and we see all the options for the inversion. We see SBUS inversion and telemetry inverted. We can switch that from current settings to on or off either way. As a remark, I've never tried it for myself successfully. It seems to depend on the used flight controller. However, I show you how it's done. Type set SBUS inversion off, uh, followed by save. And after reboot, the setting is permanent. We can try that uh, also for the telemetry. It's worth a try. If option 1 and 2 did not fix the issue, we still have a third option. We can use the uninverted signals directly from the RXSR. Thankfully, the RXSR has dedicated soldering pads for an uninverted s signal, labeled B, and s signal, labeled P. To use these pads to get the uninverted signals, the pads are pre-tinned. The wires are stripped off the silicon isolation just a tiny bit and pre-tinned as well. With the pre-tinning, we can just hold the wire to the pad and heat it up a little to make a good connection. So there is no additional tin uh, required. To make it even more robust, uh, put some hot glue on the connections and cables. And at the end, uh, put heat shrink over the RXSR. This should do the job. So I hope that works for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.